Breaking news, a lockdown at the College of Idaho is now lifted. The emergency lockdown was initiated when two people with guns were spotted in a parking lot. KBOI 2's Haley Kramer joins us live from Caldwell with what we've learned in the past hour. Haley. Yeah, the lockdown was lifted a little bit over an hour ago around 2.30. It all started here in the J.A. Albertson's Activity Center parking lot. A student reported that two individuals pulled out a gun as part of uh, possibly an attempted carjacking or burglary. Campus security was alerted and then Caldwell PD was alerted. Now, even though they're in the middle of their winter term, most students were not on campus because of the Martin Luther King holiday, but those who were were asked to shelter in place and others were asked to stay away from the school. One student an athlete was in the gym and said she and her teammates received alerts on their phones to shelter in place because there was a gunman on campus. We were all pretty calm, like we knew what we needed to do. We went to the locker room, we hid, we shut the door, we turned the lights off and it's better to stay calm than to freak out when you don't even know what's going to go on. Now, an alarm was sounded along with those uh, phone alerts. Uh, they say they've done enough drills that they know when the alarm goes off, they need to shelter in place. The school also updated on um, social media and on their website. Now, they tell me that another person reported seeing the two possible suspects running away from campus towards Linden. No one was injured and there have not been any reports of any additional sightings. That's why Caldwell PD did give the OK to uh, take the lockdown uh, off of campus. Uh, the suspects are simply described as two hooded individuals, possibly uh, in their teens and they're looking for any more information. So if you have any information you can provide, you can contact Caldwell, Caldwell PD. And if you're on campus, you can contact the campus security. Live in Caldwell, Haley Kramer, KBY 2 News.